You guys, I am so excited to be able to pull out all the Christmas stuff. Let me show you everything that I got. I am so excited. So before I start with the haul that I got as far as decor goes, I wanted to just show you a couple of my favorites um, that I think are that totally make your space during the holiday season. And that of course are candles. I love setting the mood with the lights of candles and the smell. It just, to me, makes your space feel so inviting and cozy. Um, so my favorite candles by far that I stock up on every year, every holiday season are the sand and fog candles. Um, these candles I know for sure are at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and home, or not Marshalls, TJ Maxx and Home Goods for sure. I have also seen them at Bed Bath and Beyond. Um, and there's one other place that I'm, I can't remember the name of right now. Sand and Fog candles by far are the best candles year round, I think, because of the size you can get them in and they let off so much smell goodiness. Like it just, I don't know what the right word is. I'm sure somebody out there does, but the amount of smell, you know, when you light a candle and sometimes you have to like go up to the candle and you're like, I don't smell it. Not with these. These just make your whole space smell so good. Specifically the winter white um, candle. It's the sand and fog winter white. This, you guys, is just heaven. It, it is, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. It's definitely like a pine, but it's got a little bit of like cinnamon in it. There's a little bit of citrus. It's just got such a good, smell so and you can get it you know in these bigger ones that burn all day long this one i picked up at home goods and it was like 17 dollars. but again this is a huge candle 25 ounce candle so oh you can buy these online at sandandfoghome.com i didn't know that well, now you know. Um, so the winter white, they have a lot of different winter um, smells and scents, but the winter white is by far my favorite. And then my tried and true candle is the Pickwick & Co candle. This is local to Kansas City, but I'm pretty sure you can buy these online. The Pickwick & Co candle and Fraser fir. This is like, oh, it is heaven. It is heaven. This candle is so good. I cannot, I cannot tell you enough good things about this. All of Pickwick & Co's candles are really good. Fraser Fir is by far my favorite scent from Pickwick & Co, especially for the holiday season. It comes in this really nice packaging and then you can take the candle out and it has this very simple, um, you know, logo. If you don't want that, you can just turn it around so people don't see it. I promise you, this is worth every penny. These are not cheap by any means. I think these run around $24, $25. Um, and this is 10 ounces, it's 10 ounces. Um, but it is a soy candle. And this candle, it burns forever. And it's so good. It's not overpowering. It just like makes your space smell delicious. So hands down, if you're looking for some good smelling candles for the holiday season, Pickwick & Co, which is local to Kansas City, and then Sand & Fog is another great alternative, and In The Scent Winter White is by far my favorite. Let's move on to my goodies that I got. I'm so excited about some of the things that I got. So the first one is this um, Christmas counter. How adorable is this? You guys, like seriously, it has a little hook up here. How stinking adorable is this Christmas counter? I picked this up at Lowe's and it was $19.99. So it, I thought it was really relatable for a younger child. Um, I love this kind of vintage green, um, pea green color. And I just thought it was adorable. And then it comes with this little Christmas tree. I'm gonna try to get up here. 
This little Christmas tree is the magnet, you guys. I mean, come on. That's the little magnet. I have not opened it yet. Um, I guess I'll open it for you guys. So, Sophia can use this, and I just thought it was so adorable. Um, so it's just a little magnet, and it just, oh! Isn't that so cute? I thought that was just precious. So we will definitely get used to, out of this this year. And I'm so excited because she's four now and she's at that age where she starts to kind of get this. And it's just such a fun age. So I know that she's gonna be so excited when she sees this. If you're watching this like currently, obviously everything at Hobby Lobby is 50% off right now, all of their Christmas decor. So definitely hit up Hobby Lobby if you need some Christmas decor. But I picked up this adorable little um, picture frame and um, it just says it's the most wonderful time of the year in the traditional farmhouse truck. I loved the just scene of this and I thought it was so adorable with the little wreath and everything. It's kind of got that vintage vibe. So um, I don't have any idea where I'm gonna put this, but I couldn't live without it. Um, so this was $19.99 at Hobby Lobby, but again, it was 50% off. Um, so super, super cute. They have a whole bunch of different types of wall decor. I would definitely recommend checking them out if you're looking for um, wall decor of every size they got it there i also picked up these beads and they are um they were 14.99 but half off so 7 58 dollars a piece they're garland i got two strands and honestly um i'm not going to use them for the tree i think they were meant to be made for the tree but that's not where they're going to go i'm going to use them as decor throughout the rest of the house. Um, so these are just, it's white and then the unfinished wood color and I thought that they would um, be really cute throughout the house. I, I have to figure out where I'm gonna put them but I know that it'll be pretty, even if I like drape them somewhere and then maybe put like a red bow on it or something like that. Uh, so those were from Hobby Lobby as well. And then I picked up this adorable wooden tree from Hobby Lobby. It's whitewashed and it's got the little um, embellishments here on the side. I thought it was adorable. It can go on the bookcase or on the fire mantle. Um, I thought it was just really cute farmhouse themed, um, but I can also mix this with a lot of different textures. If I want to dress it up, I can, or I can play it down. This was $14.99. Again, half off of that from Hobby Lobby. And I just thought that was precious. I think it's so cute. So cute. I love the little detail on the sides there. I also picked up this little Christmas tree set from Hobby Lobby. I thought it was adorable. Um, and this is kind of the more vintage color scheme that I'm going for, these more muted red and greens. And then obviously the farmhouse with the galvanized and then the white tree and the natural wood. I thought this like tied everything in for as far as the theme that I'm gonna go for this year. Um, I just loved it, it kind of has like that cabin um, vintage you know, Christmas tree feel. So I thought it was too cute to leave without. Um, this was $19.99, but again, 50% off. The final thing that I picked up from Hobby Lobby are these stockings. And I just like, oh my gosh, they are buttery, so soft. Um, they're like those super soft blankets that you can get and they are white, but they've got that brown undertone, and I thought they just had the most beautiful texture to them, and they were like that farmhouse cabin -y, you know, by the fireplace. Um, I thought they were so cool, so I picked up three. We're gonna have, you know, the same stockings, and then I'm gonna get little, um, not, I wanna say jewels, but that's not the right word, but little name, things to put on them so everybody knows whose stocking uh, belongs to them. And it's got this brown hook to it. These were $9.99 a piece, but again, 50% off. So I thought it was a really good buy for some stockings. Um, and they're just like that, that luxe feel and look to them, but I thought it would add just the perfect amount of like pop to the eye um, to have a different texture and look to them. So I did get those and that 
completes my haul from Hobby Lobby. Um, let's move on to Target. Y'all know I love Target and I have a serious problem with Target, a love-hate relationship. I love it. My bank account hates it. I haven't done like a full on Target haul. So if you're interested in seeing um, the things that I pick up from Target for the holiday season, let me know. I'd be happy to do a video. Uh, but I just wanted to show you the few things that I got from Target are all of these Christmas trees. Sean had to stop me <laughs> because I was going overboard. I thought that this was the perfect collection of different textures, heights, size, colors, everything. But I also felt like it all worked really, really well together. I'm so excited about these. This one is like a birch with um, some fake snow on it. This is a threshold one for $10. I thought that was really cute. And then this one is like cranberries that has some glitter on it and a white or a wooden bottom. This one was $10 as well. And then this one, which I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up. I will try. Um, this is like, I don't, I think it's glass. I don't really even know what's underneath it, but it's like felt. It's like a felt green. Um, and again, it's that muted kind of what I call vintage green. It's not a stark green, um, but I just loved the way this looked and it, and it feels like felt, velvety, I don't really know. Uh, but again, this one was $10 as well. And then this cute little tiny thing with a little coiled um, trunk, it's, it's cream colored with white frosted tips and a white little base. And this one was $5. These were all from the Threshold line. Um, at Target, they had so much more Christmas stuff that I am definitely going to go back and just, I just have to, <laughs> like, I just have to go back. But for now, I thought this is a really good solid collection of little Christmas trees that I think will look really great in our space. The final store that I went shopping at was Bed Bath & Beyond, which surprisingly had a okay selection for Christmas. I'm sure I was early and they didn't have like everything out. So what they did have, I was actually pleasantly surprised about. Um, so I'll show you what I got there. The first thing are these, let me just forewarn you, it's extra, I understand, but I, I needed to have them. These stocking hangers, which are um, marble, a marble Christmas tree, which I thought looked so sleek and elegant, um, and then on a gold base. And as you can see, they were $9.99 a piece, which for a marble, and they're heavy, like this is solid, for a marble Christmas, um, marble tree, you know, stocking holder, I thought that was a pretty good price, and I thought that this would add just a little bit of like that pizzazz that I was looking for, incorporating golds into, um, the decor just here and there, just little sparkles of, you know, just a little touch of gold everywhere. Um, and I thought that, you know, it matches with the Christmas tree theme. I thought they were an elegant look. And then I thought with the Christmas stockings that these would just look so elegant together. Does that not look so elegant together? I thought it looked just classy and oh, mm, so cozy at the same time. So I picked up three of those for our stockings, not Christmas related, but they had their um, candlesticks on sale for 45% off. So I picked up two candlesticks. I keep saying candlesticks. What are these called? Candle holders. So I found this one. This one was, is, you know, wood with the whitewash and the extra beading on there. I thought it was so cute. This was originally, it says Christmas tree shops on the bottom of it, but it's obviously from Bed Bath & Beyond. $14.99, but it was 45% off. So a little um, more than seven, eight bucks, and I thought it was just so cute. So we'll definitely use that in our Christmas decor. And then this big boy, I thought was awesome too. And this is actually, I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but it's green whitewashed. Um, so I thought that would look so cool 
for Christmas, um, putting like a candle on there or even something red to tie that in. But I thought it was so cool. When you get different sizes and colors and you put them all together, it just works and it looks so good. So I did pick up that. And this one was $16.99, but again, 45% off. And it has a tag on here that says Fiddle and Fern. So I don't know. Um, if that's a shop that you can go online, but again, those were 45% off at Bath and or Bed Bath and Beyond. The final pieces that I got, you guys, look how gorgeous these reindeer are. I cannot look at that. Are those not? Oh, I love them so much. They have gold and then sprinkled glitter um, on the antlers in this little Christmas wreath with the gold knobs on it and pine cones um, and then the actual body is like this ceramic cream color and they are just gorgeous I love them so much again they have that you know neutral colors but then the gold just adds just a little touch of something special so it will all tie in together because it's just little touches here and there of that gold and then the cream and then the vintage colors i just like ah, i cannot with these now these guys were 15 well 14.99 a piece so they were what i would consider more on the high end as far as christmas decor but i thought that they were like i could not pass these up so i did pick up those and that is it that is everything that i got in my first kind of christmas 2020 haul um i hope you guys loved the pieces that i got let me know in the comment section below which piece was your favorite piece that i picked up so make sure again that you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the notifications um when i come out with our decorating videos and i hope you guys enjoyed this um, decor haul. So again, my name is Sydney. If you're new here, I'd love for you to stick around by hitting that subscribe button and joining the farmhouse family. And until next time, guys, I will see you later. Bye.